Some of you have asked me what is my most important tool doing what I do looking for the World War II history. Well, you're looking at it right there. Brand new pair today. Let's put it through the test and see how they'll do. Today we're going to do something different, as all the gear, camera, drone, all that stuff, and in there something very special, magnets. Yep, we're going magnet fishing. Starts off quite easy, then it's up that pain in the butt hill there, all the way to the top, over the top, and into a small area where there's a, a very special location. Look at that guy there, he's got all the time in the world. I haven't seen him move for a minute now, so he's probably waiting for the red light to go green. Oh boy, oh boy, this is pretty tough. I'm following a, a rock path here. The direction I'm gonna go is up there. And it's brutal, just brutal. I had to make a breather here just to get myself together. This location was kind of given to me by one of the friends I have in the historical community and I was passing this area. And the story is that um, some of the farmers here heard during the wartime years a lot of bang and booms and stuff like that on the top here near water. So that's going to be exciting to see. There's the water, and there was a lot of bang and boom. The chances are that could actually be something in that water. Today I brought this Session 5 GoPro thing camera, put it on the head mount and uh, see if I can get some cool shots with that. This is very nice. Can you hear the birds? I can hear the birds everywhere and it's beautiful. It's just like being on a totally different planet and it's so much fun to go out here and share these moments with all of you and uh, let's hope that the uh, water is just up there because right now I'm bloody tired <laughs> that is very strange you can see this area here that kind of looks like a foxhole that amazes me you see that just like a circle of some kind. Very, very interesting. You can see the summit just over that ridge, but there's a lot of water coming down there. And I really don't want to fall into that, so I have to go a bit higher up and see if I can come through that. Yeah, it's very, very slippery. Oh no, I thought I was here. I have to go with another ridge. Ah, oh, brutal. My GPS doesn't seem to work here, so I'm just taking a wild guess of the uh, of the orientation here, and my phone is not working with me, so let's go over that hill as well. Wow! Finally made it, and I really don't know what this is all about. Have a look. This is the water, small water, all the way up here on the mountainside. I cannot understand what is going on here. Why should there be some big bangs and shooting and booms here? I don't know. It's very small. It's not big. This is very strange. I got a feeling that there was some kind of position here. Why are there stacked up rocks under this thing? That is very, very strange. That's how I've been carrying my stuff today because those are very powerful Neo magnets and I don't want them to mess up the equipment inside there. So I'm just attaching them with these uh, 
clips a bag on the side and just flips back and forth and that is very very heavy well finally i've been entangling this rope for about 10 minutes it was a pain in the butt but here we go let's try this bar and uh, to be honest <laughs> i really don't know whether there would be anything at all at this location but uh I'm gonna put my gloves on and uh, see if history will share anything with us here today. Doesn't feel too heavy. Then again, there's probably a lot of crap down there. I just don't wanna lose it. I don't wanna lose the magnets. They're very expensive. So my best hope is that I won't lose them. First pull, absolutely nothing. In it goes. Uh, I've been throwing in for about 10 times now, just some very small tiny specks of uh, something. This time it actually feels a bit heavy, so I don't know whether it's just some grass. Got a big chunk of grass just here now. Let's see, oh, there's something. Holy, look at that. Look at that. That is a mortar thingy. Are you kidding me? All right, I hope that came out on the video of the head cam. Look at that. That is a actual... Oh, come on. This is fresh water, so I can't get it off. Ah, there we are. Look at that. That is a mortar tip, or mortar end, I mean. Wow, that's really nice. So uh, there is something going on here, so let's throw it in more. I'm just starting to get a lot of small items just next to this flat plateau here. Got half a cartridge here. So I'm hoping maybe something, something around here. Just bopping it up and down. Exciting, at least one little piece, something. Oh, are you kidding me? Look at that. What is that? Holy crap, I think that, look at that. That is two from a machine gun belt. See if I can get you in there. That is definitely from a machine gun belt. That looks very, very old, but that is stainless steel. Wow, that is nice. Yeehaw! Holy Madonna! Ah, that is so cool! It is so peaceful here! It's absolutely amazing! I recommend anyone who do this to try and find a very serene small location and just stay there for hours. Looks like there is nothing when I throw it out, like halfway here, there's nothing. But you can see I'm standing on this kind of a cliff edge here, going into the water. Maybe the soldiers were sitting here. There's a lot of rocks, so I'm happy the magnet didn't stuck. You can actually feel when something grabs onto it. Right here, it doesn't seem like there are anything at all. So far, at least something came up. Oh, there's something. I can actually hear a little click. I heard a little click. That's about where I found the machine gun things. Oh, there is something there. There is something there. Oh, look at that. Another cartridge. Hoo -hoo. Is that, let me see. Come on, I have to take it off here. I have to stand on a, what's that, a fishing hook? What the f... Look at that! That's not a fishing hook, look at that! That is a belt hook for a German. I didn't know they came in steel editions. I only found them in aluminium and brass. And it's magnetic. Wow! That is really cool. And we have the... Yeah, I can see. Look at that. That's the machine gun uh, kind of belt thing in stainless steel. 
and that's the same as the other one but how the hell can we find that that is pretty special if you ask me so over the cliff here over the edge that's where we have to go and now we have yeah i can see that that is a machine gun belt so that what was happening here maybe they practice fired all kinds of stuff around here and surplus stuff got thrown into the uh water here maybe a soldier fell in actually <laughs> very nice i'm on the other side and i'm thinking maybe they shot into that ravine there and this is the starting ground you could say and uh i had some empty cottages here as well so i'm wondering if there are more in here but there are it's so deep inside some places here yeah oh it's stuck everywhere like in that mud down here i threw it too far all right in that mud here this is where there are cartridges and stuff just as on the other side i was on the other side this is the two flat areas there are oh look at that there are actually something there wow look at that what the hell one two there's three items there what is that oh it's a cartridge that's in brass you see that better condition that's in brass so that won't corrode that's in steel that will corrode what is that thing there <coughs> uh, what is that I've seen that before so three of that that's very good actually i'm very happy with that i have to say these boots they passed the test with honor it's amazing to see that you can actually get boots and they just bang fits like it's like perfect fit straight out from the box this is my first trip and they're so good so keep that in mind when you go history hunting a good set of boots is the most important thing of all oh just relocated trying another spot here was a guy coming up the hillside here with two small girls going for a walk i was just like what that insane terrain some of the locals here are insane <laughs> I've been stomping around here. I found again half a cartridge or something. But no, oh, it's stuck. Uh, why is it stuck? Don't want to fall in and mess up the camera here. Oh, I got it. I got it. I feel like there is something there, but I can't figure out whether it's just that uh, is something. Hey, what is that? Can you see that with that camera? What is that? What is that? Very strange. I got it off the magnet. I can't figure out what that is. Looks like a tool if you ask me, but uh, I don't know. I'll do some research. Wow, back here. Oh, that was quite a little surprise, that trip there, actually. And I hope you, all you members of the History Hunter team here, enjoyed that trip. It was quite exciting. Um, this is how much was in my backpack for five and a half hours walking in that gruesome terrain just for this. So I'm really, really trying my best to present material for you. So try to carry about 40 pounds in your backpack for five hours you'll probably be tired as well but let's have a look at what we found here these are the items this is a belt hook the other one i actually lost up there but uh, let's start with this belt hook this belt hook uh, was the um, arrangement which held up the belt like that on the german uniform it was outside their jacket this piece here was on the inside and it held up the uh, the belt like that 
So the one I found was actually magnetic and I've never found that before. So this is a aluminum type that I found at the Luftwaffe area, but it's basically the same thing. Um, that thing there took some thinking before I got it and this is what it is. Let's have a look. Let's see if I can put that like that. Here is a tool. This is a tool for a K98 grenade launcher kit. So it's that piece there that belongs into this leather uh thing here and this is the attachment you put on the top edge of the barrel of the k98 uh rifle and this thing probably uh assembled uh that thing onto the rifle i'm not sure but this is the uh item there it looks absolutely 100 percent the same so let's have a look at the uh, next item looks like a back of a mortar and it is and this is what it was for the german five centimeter mortar you could Put on, on the backpack of a soldier and he could run around and put it up so they probably had some kind of a firing exercise there and uh, this was dumped into the water so a piece of this five centimeter mortar here and uh, that's cool that little piece there is almost unrecognizable but it's actually the top of one of these german model 39 egg hand grenades it's that piece there that is on the top of the uh, hand grenade itself so that's also something they probably practiced with maybe it dumped it into the water and saw how it looked when when it exploded in the water i don't know this is the uh, cartridges i found some some others as well but they were like totally rotten this is brass uh it's a 792 something this is from the uh, machine gun and the reason for that is because of that belt link and I found one of my belts. You can have a look at that. This is what it's about. A, uh, this is a machine gun from a SS division area. And uh, you can see here that link is just one of, uh, let me see, one of those. So quite a nice find there in the, uh, in the water there. Wow, that was a cool little location. And I'm so glad you came with me really really appreciate all you watching and subscribing and please 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 uh remember that you need to support me by watching my videos you can please check out the ads on the videos and uh for those of you who feel that my material is good enough for you to support here is my my uh, paypal address and for those of you who like to do it on a monthly basis a dollar or two is more than enough Check it out on patreon.com also have some giveaways beautiful giveaways of world war ii dioramas that i built from these items that i find so check it out and see if you can be a lucky winner of that draw of every month well thumbs up for joining me thumbs up for this beautiful day and i will definitely be back with more material later so have a nice day and goodbye